So I got home from driving my Cobra. <laughs> the expansion tank and it was a little bit warmer than usual so um, I found out that my intercooler pump was bad so I ordered a new one and that's what we'll be installing today but uh, just wanted to show you a few things um, if you find that yours appears not to be working as well the first thing to do is to troubleshoot it uh, these tanks are kind of difficult because you can't really see if any of the coolant is moving inside so you really just have to pop the cap on them and uh, the factory one is see-through so it's a little easier to tell uh, but the best way to find out if the pump is running is to uh, to jump it and uh, where you can see the coolant in there okay now even when the car is running it sometimes the pump doesn't always run it has a temperature a setting on it where it'll start running so if you do start the car and you don't see it running right away don't be um, too freaked out but uh, the next thing we're going to do is come over here to this relay um, and just pull up on both tabs on this box and uh, that's just the cap for it and under here is our intercooler relay. So what we need to do is pull this out and you just wiggle it back and forth and pull it straight up. So I'm going to put the camera down and, and I'm going to support the base of this while I lift this actual uh, relay out. So once again, I supported the base with one hand and then lifted this out on the other. And so what we have here is uh, the different connection points for that relay. The car doesn't have to be on. You don't even need the key in the ignition. Uh, to test it, what you do is just get a piece of coat hanger or a piece of wire, and you're going to touch this far side and then this inner side. And when you make a connection with those two, the pump should run. Let's try this. So as you see, it's not running. Um, now, before you go and buy a brand new pump, you probably want to check the fuse first too. So over here, I've opened up this uh, panel. You just push down on that and lift up. And the fuse for this intercooler pump is uh, this 10 amp red one right there. So um, we'll go ahead and pull that out and uh, just make sure that it's not in fact a fuse. Just grab a pair of needle nose pliers. Okay, and just pull straight up on it. Now if you look at the fuse, yeah, you can see the connection is good. So this fuse is fine. So this is the Ford Racing Performance part to the intercooler pump. Uh, so. It's a direct replacement of the other one. It's made by Bosch, and it's a Ford product. While the car's on the ground, break all the lug nuts loose. Now lift the car into the air. Uh, my car, I installed subframe connectors, so that's where I'm going to be lifting it and then putting my uh, jack stand next to it. Okay, secure the car on the jack stand and then remove the wheel. Next we're going to remove the inner fender well liner. So we're going to remove this screw right here on the front of the bumper and then from underneath there's a push pin here. Just removing this screw that's going into the bumper. Okay, so then from underneath the car we're just pulling out this last pin. Get a pair of these little nose end pliers. And uh, just pop that pin out. And then right here, uh, there's our uh, intercooler pump right here. Okay, so now we just pulled this uh, liner in towards the inside of the car to untuck it from the bumper and then just uh, put it up in here out of the way. So now we have plenty of room to work with. 
Okay, so now we're just going to take off these two hose clamps here and pull these hoses off of the pump. We have a bucket down here because uh, there will be some fluid that comes out. Just pinch the clamp with pliers. And then uh, sometimes it's good to get a little screwdriver to help push the hose away, but just don't cut the hose in any way. If you can twist it, that's fine too. That's... There you go. So I just broke that one loose just by twisting it. Same with that one. Okay, so then just remove this other hose as well. Next we'll unplug the electrical connector and just put the two ends and it pulls right out. Okay, so we have a 10 millimeter bolt right here that we're gonna take off. That's uh, the bracket that's holding this pump on. Okay, so then uh, what that bracket loosened, you can just slide the old pump out. So we're holding the new pump here. Uh, as you can see, compared to the old pump, they look identical. However, the new mount that this comes with does not work. So. Uh, we're using the one that's already still on the car, so we're going to remove this. So we're just using a razor blade to carefully cut off the new uh, mount since it's not going to work for us. So we just cut off the new bracket since it doesn't do anything for us, and then we're going to slide the new pump into place. Alright, we'll just slide the new pump into place. Same way we took the old one out. Just hook up our electrical connection. So now we'll just take the caps off and uh, put our hoses back onto the pump. Okay, so we're just putting our factory lines back onto the new pump. bolt back into the bracket which we took out of right here okay so we just put that in hand tight and make sure it wasn't cross threaded I'm just gonna tighten it down okay so now we're just putting the clamp back on and you try to put it right back to where it was if you can see you still have a little bit of rubber coming out the nose of it. Now we're just filling the expansion tank with new coolant. Okay, so we're going to take this panel off over here, you lift on both sides, lift the tabs off, and it's going to expose our intercooler relay. So we'll just set this out of the side. 
So here's the relay for the intercooler. We're just going to gently rock it back and forth and pull up on it until it comes out. Okay, on the other side. Now what we're going to do is take this piece of metal and we're going to connect the circuit of these two opposite sides here and here and that uh, will cause the intercooler pump to run. Now we're just testing the pump and uh, from underneath we're just making sure there's no leak. Okay, so just push the push pin back in for the fender well. Put the fender well liner back in and install the screw. Replace the wheel. Make sure you hand thread these on. Back up. Remove the jack stand. Make sure everything's clear and slowly let the car down. And we're going to let the car down just enough to put a little bit of pressure on the wheel. Okay. Just torquing the uh, lug nuts down 95 to 100 foot pounds. Doing this while the car is still in the air and the wheels fairly on the ground that's uh, about as straight as you can get it. And always put your torque wrench back to zero. Now I'll just drop the car the rest of the way down and then we're just gonna now the car is level on the ground we're gonna take a look at the fluid we add a little more to it and then keep running this pump for a minute to get out any bubbles. I'm just running the pump some more here to make sure there's no air bubbles in the system. Let's to check our fluid level. Okay, then just put your relay back in place. I like to support it from the bottom when you push down. And when that's secure, you can put the cap back on. Okay. And replace the cap for your expansion tank. Okay. 